Maybe I use the catacomb keys to escape this room? Probably, I mean, there's nowhere else for me to go. Nope, okay. Wow, apparently during the daytime it just becomes a hell of a lot brighter down here. Oh, but then you get to the backside. Alright, let's just leave. Apparently I was using a silver sword throughout that battle, so... I guess it's funny that I was talking about the fact that silver swords don't do much damage while I was killing everybody with a silver sword. Whoops. Fight probably would've gone a lot faster if I'd not- <laughs> It's- it's easy to forget, like... When you're fighting a bunch of, uh, monsters and then you swap over to the humans that- Oh, I'm using the wrong weapon. Well, since I leveled up again, let's see what we got. Damage reduction, plus 10% damage. I like all these, oh my god. I'll go for this one, just so I can do more damage. Yeah, that's pretty much me, right? Take damage, deal damage, boom. I'm generic. Couldn't possibly be a magic guy. Oh, I can finally save. Here we go. What happened while I was gone, Zoltan? The fun is about to begin. Herdsman Hedzolt personally leads all his cattle here. We'll win. Is that all? Ah, we've got unexpected guests. Who? I think one of them's a she. Ugly like shite after winter, but she's got tits. You should have seen our lads' faces when those eyesores entered the courtyard. Did they say why they want to help us? Wizard would. Wizard's foe is Troll's foe. Oh, God! I met this pair. The Trolls! Use. Good. We want to create a land without prejudice. The news that Henselt will personally lead the assault spread. The spirit of our lads fell into the gutter. Tell them, Zoltan, that if they don't believe in victory, they might as well fly a white flag. I tried, but they still look down. Gather the defenders, Zoltan. It's speech time! Why so quiet? I thought you'd be merry. King Henselt himself will honor us with a visit. We're all going to die. We can't repel the attack. Henselt is invincible. We won't be fighting mere minions, but their king. And the king himself will have to recognize our victory. Could a soldier dream of better than defeating a monarch? Or maybe you're afraid to fight. Maybe we should fly a white flag. It's so simple. Henselt will quickly set up his order here. Inns will be marked humans only. Dwarves will choke in the mines. Elves will perish, hunted in the forests. Lords will slaughter peasants because they didn't bow low enough. Is that the land you want to leave to your children? No. Never. You're shitting bricks because Henselt is coming. Who is he? A god? No. He has arms, legs, and blood, as red as any of ours. If he dares to cross these walls, then we'll gladly spill some of it. Yes! Get Henselt! Long live Saskia! Many of you won't see the light of dawn again. Many won't return to your women or drink with friends. But we will care for and honor their graves when they enter the earth. A Durnian Earth. Those who survive will live with their heads held high, for only such a life makes sense. Now, to arms and to the walls, let's show Henselt real war! That doesn't look menacing, right? Isn't he the guy that was down in the, in the caves? Oh boy. Well, here we go again. Just gonna try and over the. Did I, am I getting shot by them? Oh, I need to get away from the walls. <laughs> we can't have that. Oh. 
Yeah! Do you hear the trolls? Hey, look at them down there just kicking some ass. Meanwhile, Philippa's way the fuck back here. Dumbass. We need to kill the sorcerer before he reveals Saskia's secret to everybody. I mean, shit, if I was him, I would have already. I would have been like, uh, she's the dragon? She's a dragon. So, oh, double flies! Haha. <laughs> Was I using a silver sword again? Terrorists, murderers, the death squad. Or freedom fighters in an uneven battle, nobling their suffering. It all depends on your point of view. I helped Yorbit. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals. Time will tell if I was right. One thing is sure. Elves are the best archers who have ever walked this earth. <laughs> okay. Yorveth, that's what I call an entrance. I have to admit, the squirrel has style. Not all is lost. We need to cut off Hensel's escape. What are you talking about? He looks as if he likes it here. He'll change his mind. Join Yorveth and shut the main gate. Yarpen says Death Mold's magic damaged him. Yarpen knows fuck all about gates. Cover my arse and I'll close it. The fate of the battle hangs on it, Wolf. There's no bloody gate that Sultan Chive can't close. All right. Break through the Yorveth. Uh. We'll follow Zoltan. Yeah, we'll level up after this. I don't, it's not a precedence. Actually, maybe it could be. Let's see. Character. More health! Maha! Are you guys absolutely sure I was using a silver sword in the last battle? I was... I mean, I kind of was killing them pretty quickly. Oh, no, you want to go... you guys want to remove the ladders. Okay. Yorbeth! We've come to join you! Yorbeth, we need to get to the main gate, now. Admit it. You thought I wouldn't come back, Windblade. I forgot. You're hellishly good. We need to stop Hensel from retreating. And then force him to try it. There's no time to waste. To the gate! No, that's the wrong sword. Roll time! Where's the lever? Ah, here! These guys don't have health! I don't think I'm supposed to be killing them! That's okay. I can use him to build up my adrenaline. There. All right, now what? Zoltan! Hurry the fuck up, damn it! He's got stuck on an elf. Yes! Axing the lever is how you're gonna close the gate! No, it's working! Done! They're cut off like sitting ducks! Maybe they'll surrender. Sire. Your orders. We 
surrender. Ha! <laughs> well, he's smart. The battle is over, King. You won, and the victors state their terms. You know my terms. You will relinquish Eden and sign an act of unconditional surrender in which you'll promise your troops will never cross the Pontar. Is that all? You'll pay war reparations and recognize the free realm of Upper Eden with Saskia of Vergen at its head. What about me and my men? What awaits us? Freedom. It's a great thing. Look how many of my soldiers died defending it. How much do you want? We'll discuss the war reparations in detail at Loch Muin before esteemed witnesses. There's one thing Saskia didn't mention. I'm listening. Since the dawn of time, wars were, are, and will yet be. One side wins, the other loses. But military conflict should be carried out under chivalrous rules and laws. What's your point, sorceress? War criminals, including Deathmold, must be punished. I need an advisor. War criminals must be punished. You'll have a new advisor, Sheila de Tanzerville. Has this witch gone mad? It's a necessary condition. Deathmold committed a crime and he must be punished. As you wish. Execute him. Don't allow them to harass me like a dog. Is he gonna get a chance to announce it? <laughs> You'll see how a real sorcerer dies, foolish whores. I'd be screaming by now. She's a dragon. Ah! Swear an oath, and you'll walk free. Who am I negotiating with, anyway? Philippa Eilhart and I speak with one voice. Be wary of the sorceresses. They often forget whose perch is higher. Philippa is my advisor. We await your decision, King. I, King Henselt, Lord of Kedwin, swear before witnesses that I will relinquish Adarian borders. I recognize Saskia of Vergen's reign in the realm of the Pontar Valley, and I swear to pay war reparations in the amount agreed upon at Loch Muin. You're free. Show the king the way out. <sighs> It's time to go, Saskia. Yes. I meant to say Saskia, not Trish. Like what? The same. Saskia. I know her well. She's never behaved like that. Her eyes look as if she's taken fist tech. I assure you, she doesn't use it. Let's follow them. Maybe someone's disguised himself as them? Huh? What? Are they teleporting? Hey! They disappeared. Let's search Eilhart's house. She was in a hurry, maybe she left something. These goddamn sorceresses and their fucking sh- Oh man, I'm getting really tired of them. Oh, we're sorceresses, we're gonna pull tricks! Whoa, look at us in a fake everything. Let's take a look. Something in the back room? Ah. Uh -huh. Over here, I've got something. Venoms and poisons? What is it? A tome of potion recipes. We've no time to read books. Sorceresses carefully guard books like this. Not that carefully. After all, she left it behind. She was in a hurry. Could this book have anything to do with the Dragon Slayer? Even if it doesn't, it's still very valuable. I'm sure it's filled with recipes I'll heart used to send many to eternity. You're right. I've found Thaumador's recipe. Eilhart already told us the ingredients for mage pain. How is it relevant? Usually the recipe for an antidote is right next to the one for the poison. I can recite it exactly. Royal blood, an immortal, a dragon's dream, and petals from a rose of remembrance. Yet this book doesn't even mention a rose of remembrance. Oh no! I recall perfectly that Eilhart said a rose of remembrance combined with an immortal heals the mind. What if she lied? 
Maybe it doesn't heal the mind, but influences it. Philippa passed the flower to Saskia through a kiss, the symbol of love and perdition. I'm confused. I think Philippa subjugated Saskia's mind by adding the rose to the antidote. I'll kill that bitch. Philippa has magic and an obedient dragon at her command. She could have a strong influence on the conference. But what does she want? We can only learn that in Loch Muin. Let's go then, Gwynblade. God damn it! Ugh! Fuck it, sorceresses! It's funny, you know? We are like, oh, Cynthia! She's a traitor, and then she's gone. And then Philippa! Also a traitor. God damn it. Lesbomancy. The most tricky kind of magic. <laughs> Geralt! Saskia's disappeared. People are getting riled. Dwarves, too. Uh, Saskia's left to negotiate with the kings. Saskia's gone to the summit that's supposed to re-establish the council and conclave. She wants the kings assembling at Loch Muin to recognize Bergen's independence. Alas, has good gumption. But everything will go to hell without her. We showed Hensel this place, but what of it if everything falls apart now? Someone's got to bring these folks together. Without that, it'll have been a hollow victory. I'm going after Saskia, with Yorvith. Everything suggests those responsible for Foltest's death will be at Loch Muin. Some still say you killed him. I've got to stop that drivel. Don't have a choice, but you do. The elite of the North is gathering at Loch Muin. I couldn't forgive myself if I wasn't there. It'd be a sin against art. The art of poking your nose in others' business. You'll be needed here until Saskia returns. Order must prevail. There can be no strife. The victory over Henselt was an important step, but only the first on a long road. The hymn I composed could help. Virgin will need many more songs. I certainly hope our paths will cross again, Geralt of Rivia. Stop dramatizing. You can be sure of that. We've got unfinished business of our own. Huh? Oh, hi. Let's go then, Gwynblade. Well, let's hope things go all right over here. Ah. Just kill all the sorcerers in the game. Every single one, except for Triss. Sheila. To Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But Regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muir, Master Dandelion? Vergen was free, yet what is freedom without its awareness? It might too easily pass from hand to hand were a nation to lack individuals capable of pointing the way. I remained in the Pontar Valley. That is the task fate seemed to assign me, to safeguard freedom as it budded and bloomed. Who knows, I may yet prove freedom's bard. Yet forever feeling a vast, shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Oh boy. At least we can meet everybody again, save Triss, kill Letho. Do you know what this is? I know. Who it is? Triss Marigold. Until recently, advisor to King Foltus. Artifact compression. A complicated spell. Is she alive? Her life processes are on hold. A 
difficult, it is reversible. Though, very difficult. You created a portal between Loch Muin and Nilfgaard. You should manage the figurine. Stand back. I cannot be sure how her body will react to decompression. No pentagrams, candles, spilt blood. It figures you'd know little about magic, Ambassador. It matters not. We need her alive, Asira. Make sure her body survives decompression well. I'll do what I can. But she will be disoriented for some time. <laughs> That's all you gotta do? Throw her in the river? That looks like a really shallow water, too. That could just crack the figurine. Oh, she's naked. What is your name? Oh. Tell me your name. Tritz. Wie oh. sehr Wie Dar tocht et nedling der jent. Maybe you should keep her alive just in case the compression shit doesn't go well. Mehen evenens ep turin. I don't know why these guys are so quick to fucking kill people. Ah well. Marigold. Your name is Triss Marigold. Ah, <sighs> yeah, kill the person who would know more about the the compression and things like that. Smart. This valley. This path leads to the city gates. Ah, we only had to deal with the random fucking monsters along the path. Ah, damn hot base. And here I figured I'd see the last of them. Yeah, Yorvith, just stand back! You know, I don't need your help at all. I really don't, but still. When were you here last? A long time ago by your measure. King, wasting time. Oh, we're elves. We last a long time. I wish applying runes to the swords would actually make him like shimmer with fire. Did the elves conquer the friends? No, disease did, and the climate. Long ago, the sources of the Pontar did not freeze over and flowed all year. Flowers still bloom on the side. Whoa, what? Apparently, I can't use my adrenaline attacks on harpies. That is just something that is not allowed. <laughs> 